Come in. You want to see me? I'm sorry about your mother. Sit down, please. Pretty quiet up north, eh? For the moment. Tell me why I'm here. Ah, Rick. All business. No small talk, eh? I want to transfer you to the Morrow. There's nothing going on up there. On the contrary, while you've been up north, things have been heating up. Quite hot, in fact. In the last six weeks alone, we've found 12 elephants and two rhinos. That's what we found. You know the ratio better than I do. And where in Morrow? The entire district. The first one will be found here. The next, a month later, here. The last group were found here, reported by your father from his camp in the Morrow. Apart from the destruction of the animals, apparently the tourists are becoming aware of it on safari. I am instructed to act immediately. This is a big business. This is not your everyday poacher in bare feet. Whoever you find, you may turn over to the Maasai or dispose of them yourself. You'll be saving yourself a great deal of trouble and the government. You want me to kill poachers? Bush justice, I believe it is called. I'm paid to catch them, not kill them. I'm giving you the choice. It's as simple as that. Bringing the white man to do your dirty work. If I had a Kenyan who was a green berry in Vietnam, you'd be out of a job. What do you need? A truck and a rifle. Men? Who do you have? Kiru and Utomi. You're not familiar with that district. Take a guide. I'll fly over and get familiar. Sana Lakini, Hepana Pindu Agari. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we cannot carry. Smaller! <laughs> Man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Thank you. Did you come here on your own, or are you standing in for my father? I don't know what happened. Is that his beer? Oh. Something always happens to my father. When my mother was giving birth to me, he was late for that, too. He was really upset at the news of the death. That's touching. They were only married for 18 years. No, I tried very hard to go on liking you. Those are the same words you said when we split up. And let me warn you, Cahill men have never been very good to women. My father could ruin your life like he did with my mother. Well, at least he is gentle, Rick. He doesn't bounce me off walls, crash motorcycles, and fall asleep on my kitchen floor. Well, that's true. He is an older, more mature man. I'd say more grown up. And we did have our moments, didn't we? Sorry. 
I'm sorry, Rick. Sorry I'm late. I'm sorry we lost her. You lost her years ago. Yeah. Hope the minister said the right things about her. That depends on your point of view. I loved her as well as I could. You broke her heart. When a marriage breaks, only two people know the reasons. They don't always know. You have no business being here. Look. She was your mother. You keep what you can of her. But she was my wife. Well done. the risk of embarrassing my old friend Lee Cahill here, a man whom I have served for 15 years, a man whom I have seen take his clients so close to an elephant that they could photograph the eyelashes. As I say, at the risk of embarrassing him, this, this Juana Ascari, this great protector of game, he is the Nimrod of East Africa. Nimrod? Yes, ma'am. Nimrod in the Bible. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. All Simon's trying to tell you is that I know where to find big game. <laughs> More big game than God remembers making. Will we see lions? Lions! <laughs> Prides of lions. Legions of lions. I can tell you this in confidence. In the old days, when big game was fair game, this man is said to have stared into the eyes of a thousand angry lions. He has gazed into the jaws of death. The answer is you'll see lions. Well, Lee, what about Cheetah? Any chance we'll see Cheetah? I mean, I went out and bought myself a brand new lens, especially. $600. Right, now I'm going to tell you something. If you don't see Cheetah, it's because they're not there. <laughs> well, there are problems with Cheetah. In the first place, is you probably know they're the fastest land animal on Earth. I mean, 60, 70 miles an hour for half a mile. If anyone can show you Cheetah, it's this man. The poachers aren't making it any easier. They're a lot worse than the marathon. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Luck is this man's middle name. I have a feeling you'll be seeing something extraordinary. Do you go often on safari? Not often enough. I'll be going out right after you return. I'm taking my vacation in the bush. What kind of camera do you carry? I don't own one. In my job, you gotta have both eyes open all the time. Well, I hope they're open enough to find some cheetah. Sounds to me like you've got, uh, what do they call it, an obsession about cheetah. I have. Well, do the best we can for you. Oh, I do hope so. Uh, waiter, can we have another round here, please? Six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Well, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing? You wake me up at six o'clock in the morning for nothing? I don't want you to see him. That's it. That's all. You stand here cold sober, giving me orders about my personal life? Yeah, he's my father. Oh, you remember it. I have to say what I feel. I think I know him better than you. He'll hurt you. Oh, Rick, let me tell you something. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever loved me like your father does. 
And you? Do you love him? Leave me alone. I'll get out of here. I'll go away, Rick. Leave me alone. You move your foot. Rick, move your foot! Leave me alone. Go shoot your poachers and let me close my door. I scare you? Always. Give me a hand with these. Sure. Hey, where is everybody? I don't know. It's Valley on top of the store. I'm minding the store. Well, I just thought I'd stop in and say goodbye before we start off in the great cheetah hunt. I like Mr. Gardner. Yeah, so do I. But I'd watch out for her. She seemed to be something of a hunter, too. I'll watch out. Everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little tired. Up early? Yes, quite early. Well, I'll expect you right after the gardeners leave. I'll be there. Lee. I'll miss you. How long have you lived here, Lee? First came out from the States when I was 10. Never went back. Didn't you miss it? Nope. Well, I got all I want. What's next?
bunnies. Lee, I got cheetah. Best day I've had in a hundred years. We end the fleas. Let's go. I got something else for you. Masai, out for a stroll. Uh, they seem really friendly. Yeah, they are. Except the lions and poachers. They kill them. Everybody else gets jumbo. Oh, <laughs> what bodies. Come on, Helen. Oh, that tall one reminds me of you, Arthur. The one with the spear. This is something you don't see every day. Yeah. Jumbo. Uh, jumbo. Isn't that true? <laughs> Simon. <laughs> jumbo. Jumbo. Have I got a treat for you? Drink it. It's merely a mixture of cow's milk, blood and urine. It gives them courage. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now honorary Messiah.
Ellen, will you stop giggling? Ellen? Huh? Stop Lee? Giggling. Could you just... Oh. <laughs> Some of this beadwork you got's really very good. Do you really like it? Yeah, those are first-class pieces. I just love collecting native jewelry. Lee, you don't know where I could get some really nice pieces of ivory, do you? Trading ivory is illegal in Kenya now, Mrs. Gardner. Didn't you know that? Oh, well, I just meant as souvenirs. You know, something special to take home. Yeah, I understand. Problem's the elephants. You can't seem to get the ivory without killing them. <sighs> hey! Is there an airfield near here? The whole country's more or less... Get out, we better see if we can get him ahead. Lessons really paid off, didn't they? Yeah. Um, this is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, two of our valuable tourists, Rick Cahill. How you doing? Care for a lift? Always glad to help a traveler in distress. No, thanks. I radioed in. Range warden. Hope you brought a tent. Those fellows have been known to come a week late to lunch. I thought you were stationed up north. Didn't get lost, did you, Rick? You don't have a cold beer with you, do you, Lee? Back at my camp. We're over across the river there. You're welcome anytime. They're always cold. Is he a relative of yours, Lee? Yeah, by marriage. Sorry to have you stranded here with no tent. <laughs> Lee, look, don't worry about it. We're really enjoying all this. Sure am. Well, uh, I'll get it uh, squared away. Yeah, we'll see you later. Simon! Simon! We got back into camp three hours ago, Simon. You know that? Yes, oh, mighty Nimrod. Now, save that for the clients. Just tell me how come the gardener's tent hasn't been made up yet. Oh, Lee, um, I'm really sorry about it. Uh, I'll get somebody on it right away. Come on! They've been sitting at that table since 2 o'clock. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's been a busy day. I've been here, there, and everywhere. And it isn't as if I was getting rich playing a glorified maitre d'. All right, there has been a mix-up. There's no mix-up. There's a screw-up. Oh, my, what are you grinning at? Hang your laser, Tenty Harper. Pacey, Pacey. I'm awfully sorry about oh. that. You should have told me. Honestly, you can't get reliable help anywhere these days. <laughs> now, um, while you're waiting, uh, perhaps you'd care to see some souvenirs. What kind of souvenirs? Oh, bracelets, beads, charms, uh, ivory, that's all I mean. Oh. 
Hey, look, honey, why don't you just go over there and pick out whatever you want, all right? And you can stay and finish your drink. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry again, sir. Mm. Pretty. Very pretty. Why don't you take a few pieces and show it to Mr. Gardner? Well, do you have anything more substantial? Maybe something of size, something unique before we leave tomorrow? See, I've got this little decorating business back home, and I sure would like to have it. Well, uh, I'm afraid I, I can't help you there, Mrs. Gardner. Well, anybody else around here? One of the other men, maybe. Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't know. Suppose I ask. You still have a problem of getting out of the country, whatever you found. Toast to Lee. Ah, uh, to me. Here, here. Oh, my napkin. I'm oh. sorry. I'm so oh. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. Uh. Something for you. Helen! Helen! Where are you? The John, Arthur! I'm going to the John!
Rambo san. Tuli. Au. Untukuf. Kuja! Kuja saya dia! Jambo! Jambo! Mwifi wawili! Mwifi wawili! Tua! Tua iyo! Mbari gari! Masafi sana! Mzuri! Mzuri! Mzuri sana! Yes, but look at that father one in the center. Mm, look at the jaws. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at the jaws. Oh. Isn't that marvelous? Look at it. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Take all the time you need. I won't go anyplace. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I wish we could be here later and see them come out to you. By the way, I heard you were tracked onto your lair by a relentless hunter. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> Huntress. Oh, Mrs. Gardner, yeah. <laughs> you were right about her. She was relentless, all right. <laughs> what stopped her? <laughs> My zipper jam. Oh, <laughs> no, no, that's the truth, I'm telling you. Hey. Lady, marry me? No, you look at me. What do you see? What would you like me to see? What there is. Oh, I know there's not a hell of a lot left, but uh, you could do worse. You take a look, see what you get. No young buck, that's for sure. Scarred up old robe bows. More like it. But I'm not finished yet. What I want is... You, I love you. I guess I... made a mess out of my life. My life made a mess out of me. I walked out with my wife. My son hates my guts. I'm a tour guide for... I used to wake up every morning. I couldn't wait to start the day. The green hills. Now they're not so green anymore. Now it's you. I want to please you. Be with you. I need you in my life. Always. Said yes. Let's thank you. For what? For asking me. For telling me. But I'm not ready for always. Okay. Rick since the funeral? Yeah, he had dropped by the other morning at 6 a.m. When was this? The day after the funeral. The day I saw you at the museum? How come you didn't tell me that? Uh, it was no big deal. What was on his mind? Nothing much. He gave you a hard time about me, didn't he? Maybe he'll grow up yet. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. You know, you're gonna have to keep on saying no to me, because I'm gonna keep on asking you.
I've seen this man take people so close to an elephant that they could photograph its eyelashes. This Wana Ascari is the Nimrod of East Africa, a mighty hunter before the Lord. This man has looked into the eyes of a thousand angry lions. He has gazed into the jaws of death. Have you ever been frightened, Lee? Well, if Simon's telling the truth, I reckon I've been frightened uh, 3,000 times. At least. <coughs> Old Maasai proverb, a uh, man's afraid of a lion three times. When he first hears him roar, when he sees the track, and when he faces the charge. 3,000. Hmm. Salt. I'm uh, taking the Jensen's out now, but uh, Miss Malone's not coming along. I think she wants to take a nap. If uh, she needs anything, take care of her. Huh? Yeah. Where's Simon? I, I don't know. Was he in his tent? No. He's in camp, isn't he? No. Well, when he gets back from wherever he is, you tell him I want to see him. Quinda Araka, huh? Asante Buana. See that big ball off to the right? Yes. Yeah. It's moving a bit. We'll probably get in a moment. Hang on. Yes, he's coming so right there. Got it. How are you? Fine. Tiffin, not any big kitty wadi. You have something to drink? Uh, chai, uh, maji, bambi? Bambi. Hello, Ray. Oh, what are you doing here? I thought everybody went out. When did you get here? Oh, this morning. Snapping, I guess, lead in one way. You just drop by for a beer. I guess you come here often. Yes, I do. You know, I want to say I'm sorry for the other morning. I, sure. I don't apologize. It never happened. I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was going to say. And I, I just... Uh. What did you expect at 6 a.m.? An invitation? I thought you'd take me into your arms and tell me how much you missed me and how sorry you were that you left me. I lied. I meant every word I said the other morning. Look, I really don't want to hear this. And you know, we've been apart for two years. And for me, it's like yesterday. Just tell me you miss me a little bit. I'm not going to leave him. Okay, see you for supper. Thank for the ride. Omar said you wanted to see me. Where have you been? Oh, just out. Change of scenery. What's the problem? Change of scenery? Lee, I'm tired of you sniping at me. Now, if you want to hit me, you come at me with both barrels blazing. You don't wander off away from camp like that. Well, Omar knows what to do. You're the camp manager. 
I trust Omar. It's a quirk of mine, trusting my employees. I want to know where you are. Oh, thanks. I can see you trust your employees, too. Don't you wise off at me. I would have thought that after 15 years that I wouldn't have to account for my every movement. I would have expected after 15 years that I would have had some measure of autonomy around here. Around here, you get what you earn. took me up in that offer. What did I miss? Rhino. First one I've seen this month. Lonely old bastard. Stay for dinner. No, thanks. I appreciate the beer. Don't forget Omar's roast beef. Finest safari cook in East Africa. Yeah. Nice ivory on Omar. He told me he got it here. He told me. Simon sells it. Small souvenir stuff for the clients. Now here you get some poachers. Turn them over to the Maasai. Sorry? It's funny. We used to do a lot more than that when we caught him. Me and your dad. Hell of a man he was. <laughs> what a world. In the old days, we kept the game population stable, the poachers the hell out, then they stopped the hunting, take away our living. Take away the elephants, too, before long. Poach him with machine guns now. now. How come you're selling it here, Lee? Simon sells it. He paid for it. You don't expect him to give it away, do you? But where's it coming from? The tourist bric-a-brac? Hong Kong. They bring it in from India. Don't worry about those souvenir sellers. You go for the poachers. Uh, where are they? Mars a big place. Where they camp and where they're coming from. If you know anything, I'd appreciate it. I don't get back in the deep bush much anymore. Not with these camera tours. You don't think I'm poaching ivory, do you? No. But selling it's just a step up as far as I'm concerned. There's no elephants left up north. I see a carcass every five miles. They're taking it across the border in trucks, hauling ivory like it was hay. You keep selling it. And you won't have any more tourists here, because there won't be any more elephants left to see. Thanks for the beer. Excuse me. You want to go with him? No, I don't.
can't remember a time when you weren't part of my life. Did I tell you, I used to lie in bed listening to you and my father. Of course, you did most of the talking. <laughs> I love the sound of your voice. I used to imagine that one day you and I would Rick and I, we never really got along. I guess I thought he was a childish brat. And everything changed. My father died. Rick came back from the service, and he seemed so different, so grown up. Everything fell back into the same old pattern. Lee, I'm so glad I have you. Gambo. I said, Charles, you bang in a nagan. Mardad.
pair spotted in the gorge about 10 miles from here. We'll do our best. Hmm. There's Golden Eagle up there, too. Oh. What? Excuse me, man. Simon, see if the Jensen's want some tea, will you? I'm okay. I just need a bite to eat in the shower and I'll be out of here. What happened? Well, yesterday they got a rhino. This morning they got a cat. And they tried to run me over and shot my tires out. What happened to your arm? Monitor lizard. I got bit. I'll have to take care of that. You can use our radio to call the game department, get yourself another vehicle. I can't wait for them, Lee. I need wheels. So do I. I got a business to run here. I can't let you have my truck. These guys know I'm after them. And they're fast. You'll have to lend it to me. <laughs> like hell I do. I don't work for the government. Or maybe you'd like to come along for the ride. Get my head blown off? What about the supplies? What about it? Maybe you can borrow the truck that brings them in. Yeah, maybe I'll think about it, too. You stay in camp, see so he gets what he needs. No, I'd rather go with you. I want to go out. Stay here. You'd be my hostess. Call your plane? No, no, thanks, Simon. You can be in and out of Nairobi in half a day. I'll manage. But I appreciate the offer. If you change your mind, let me know. Hmm. How you make a lousy nurse? I've known it for years. I hope I didn't cause you any trouble. Oh, it won't last. No. You know he loves you, don't you? He does. He has a weird way of showing it, doesn't he? He'd say the same thing about you. Yeah, but I don't love him. Oh, what you did once, and not that long ago. Every time you opened your mouth, you quoted your father. You practically worshipped the man. That was a big mistake. He hasn't changed. No. No, he hasn't. Do me a favor. Don't try to make us friends, okay? You want to let me know when the truck gets here? I'm going to go lie down for a while. I'm sorry I opened my mouth about the supply truck. Yeah, so am I. Will you go with him? Why should I go with him? I told him there's four of them, with the rifles. That boy was a Green Beret, America's finest. Lee, it sounds like he needs help. At least he's getting paid for it. You and my dad would have been the first ones to go after the poachers, paid or not. Yeah, that's right. Your dad and I would have done it for the cold beers when we got back. That was another life. It's finished. It's not my fight anymore. Whose fight is it? You love this country. And it's the animals, isn't it? That's why we're here. I don't see how you can say it's not your fight. I'm sorry I didn't know you were asleep. The truck's here. I heard it. What's the matter? <laughs> it's nothing. Come on, it's me, remember? Come 
think he's leaving now? Yep. Just unload it fast so we can get out of here. All right. Truck's ready. All gassed up, ready to go. Thanks. Hold it. My truck, I'm driving. I didn't ask for company. You got no choice. Get in. I'm not taking pictures, Lee. These guys are killing me. That scares me to death. You don't have to prove anything to me. Don't flatter yourself. Come on, we're wasting time. And you were right. Thanks for reminding me. Lee, I'm sorry. Mind the store for me, huh? in three hours. Time for a snack, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Stop here. What? Stop. It's still warm. Can't be far. We got a shot at him. This is not good. Too many holes, too many rocks. We'll go down and cross it in the billy. We lose the truck, we're finished. They made it across, so can we. Did you hear me?
is one hell of a truck. Either you do as I ask from now on, or you walk back. You understand? What kind of a way is that to talk to your old man? You know, I think you'd do it, too. You're quite a hard nose, aren't you, Tiger? <laughs> Runs in the family. You should have seen your granddad. Don't you think you can run me into the ground? Don't write me off. She's coming back to me, Lee. Taught you to drive. You did. Back in the States a hundred years ago with a buffalo. Not now, though. I still have it here. Yeah. I do believe this is the place where the world began. <laughs> Haven't chased a wildebeest in 20 years. They're still too fast for us. Simon. Argani. Zuri, son of Zuri. Abargani. 
this mate I mean let's be reasonable Where are 
are you? Don't say anything. Damn it. Never did like me, did you, Lee? <laughs> oh. Oh. I used to bloody worship you, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be like you. You, you never respected me, did you? Did you ever like me? Me too far, son. He pushed me too far. Pushed me too far. Me. Can you make it to the truck? Get me up. I'll get to the truck. You help me. Yeah, yeah.
Okay, one door. Lee, we gotta run into the camp. It won't be long. Okay. Those ladies did a pretty good job. All you have to do is hang in there. And? She'll be here. You'll make it. Damn right. Hey, man, he's a very bit. You'll take care of him for me, won't you? Ricky, Ricky. You're gonna be fine. I knew a long time ago you were gonna turn out okay. Should have told you that. I never did. My mistake. You're a hard nose. Yes, Lee, I'm here. We raided for a plane. Well, what about the doctor? I'll be fine. Believe me. You look beautiful. We're in a hurry.
Thanks, boys. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Hey, what are you blooming doing? Lee. Dead. 